Hello guys, welcome back to my channel, I hope you're having a good day or night. A few days ago I asked you to tell me your least favorite or most hated K-pop songs so I can give my opinion and rank them. Please keep in mind that this is just my opinion and that you have all the right to hate all the songs you want, even without a specific reason, and without further ado, let's begin. This was an experience for sure, I agree with the person who said the chorus was kinda good, but besides that, the verses are extremely weird and I have no idea what they were trying to do. I can see this song being popular in Japan though, because it could match better with their experimental sound and style. I don't have anything else to say. I'm a ho for cute summer concepts and I had a lot of expectations because I loved their last comeback, but this was not it. I only listened to this song twice because I wanted to give it a second change but then I completely forgot about it. I hope their next comeback can be more of my style because there's some really talented and cute girls. I hope your guys are ready to hear this but Obsession is not the unique queen you guys think it is. I keep seeing people praising this song for how different and risky it is, and I agree with all of those adjectives but that does not mean that the song is good at all. EXO title tracks are flawless but I don't know what's going on here, Obsession is a mess from beginning to end, and what the hell was going on with Chen's hair? Serious question, I laugh whenever I see him on the screen. In the other hand, because I don't want to be this bad with the boys I have to say that the chorus is really catchy and the bridge is fantastic like always, the last part of the song is the best one and the fight scenes were spectacular. I wanted the whole MV to be like that. You know what I deserve? What? Dessert. 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 I can't stand this song, so I don't really know what to say here, I mean is catchy of course but I don't like it at all. I agree that the last part of the song is more likable and that Ho deserves better. She's a great idol able to excel in dance, rap, and singing but sadly her style of music is not really my taste. When this song was released I saw so many people talking about it on Twitter that I thought it was the bop of the century and damn I was wrong, I don't hate it at all. But I do agree with those who think it's annoying, plus it feels cheap but I know that's not the girl's fault and that they're not part of a big company. I'm so super a. Yeah. NCT songs are usually a hit or miss and lately, it's been a miss. I feel like they've been having quite a lot of comebacks and they feel rush. Like the song was made super fast without much care about the final product. I do like the MV and the bridge though. SM always have great vocals in their songs and I appreciate that a lot. There is another text song coming in this ranking and I know you're gonna hate me for putting that song higher than this one but even though I really like dark concepts I feel like text doesn't match this concept that well. I mean, they did amazing, the choreo is great and their stage presence is impeccable but I rather listen to their brighter songs, like Runaway for example, that's not a cute song but I love it and I think they suit that concept the most, not childish but neither demon. I think I was the first person to hate this song when it was released but guess what, this ain't that bad. This track was meant to be a catchy summer song and it reaches the expectations perfectly. I don't listen to this song anymore but I used to know the whole choreography and this was a great hit worldwide. Everyone was dancing and singing to this song and that says a lot, plus the rap verses are chef kisses. So I didn't know this song before someone mentioned it in the comments and I have mixed feelings. I understand when they talked about the chorus because even though I usually like repetitive chorus, I didn't like this one with the da 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 over and over again. On the other hand though, the verses are super cute, and the song as a whole is not that bad. Okay, okay. 
so a lot of you seem to dislike the animal stuff or the cringe lyrics and I somehow agree with your opinions. The lyrics are extremely weird but I have this song in my K-pop playlist and depending on my mood I don't skip it. I guess I don't mind it because they're young so they can do this weird stuff just like all of us did. This ain't their best song but the chorus is catchy, has a great hype beat and the rap sounds amazing if we ignore the lyrics. <laughs> I first listened to this song with zero expectations, so I was really surprised this wasn't as bad as some people portrayed it. Yes, is some generic summer song and yes, the teasers give a completely different vibe to the actual product but this ain't bad. I actually like the first half of the chorus, so I really have nothing to say about this song. <laughs> I've seen a lot of mixed feelings about this one and even though I've stared to enjoy it a lot more lately I have to be impartial here and say that I had way too high expectations. Solar looks amazing as always, I love how the choreo, song, and outfits represent her perfectly with her unique personality, but the track itself sounds kinda messy, I just listen to this when I'm on the mood. Let's kill this I think this has been my least favorite title track of Blackpink since the moment it was released. I had high expectations but YG just give us a part 2 of Dua 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 and I like that one way more. But, the reason is not lower in the list is because of the music video, it is absolutely stunning. I love everything about it. Before saying my opinion about this, I have to say that a few BTS songs were mentioned in the comments and everyone who did it apologized at some point and I want to say, please don't do that, at least not with me. I hate that you guys have to apologize for your opinions because of the fear that someone will come at you with hateful comments in this channel all of you are free to comment anything with respect, so now, after this little message I'm gonna say I don't like this song either. I used to think it was cute and I was happy with the collaboration because the guys seemed really happy with Halsey, but it feels like it was made in a rush and it gets boring pretty easily. Fire is that hype song that hits different whenever you listen to it with headphones or during a concert. I think it's a bop and we all need it in our lives. This era as a whole is superior and absolutely iconic, but this isn't higher on the list just because I don't listen to it as often now. Someone mentioned this song sound generic and I agree with that. This is the concept that all boy groups seems to be doing lately but I'm gonna be a little bit biased here just like in this whole video and I'm gonna say that these dark concepts are my favorite from boy groups and almost the only concepts I truly enjoy with some exceptions so I really like this song. I wish the rap verses were more structured and longer but besides that this song is great, the chorus is catchy, the MV is also really beautiful, so in conclusion, I don't think I know other title tracks from them so I can't really compare, but this single alone seems strong and I really like it. Let's be honest Fancy did not age well, at least for me. I used to listen to this song non-stop and at some point it got tiring and I tend to skip it. It is still really high on the list because this is a bop. Everyone was singing with their lungs the Fancy You and You Can't Fool Me twice did that. <laughs> when I tell you guys that I used to be the biggest Zimzalabim hater, is because I really used to be the number one hater of this song but that bridge really made me questions if I should just enjoy it and it grows on me really fast, is a weird song with a weird intro but it slaps. <laughs> I can see the anger in your eyes guys, usually people hate this song but Rookie Slaps is a bop and you can't change my mind. This concept was great, I really enjoy the song and the choreo is pretty good and has some pretty complex momentums. Stream Rookie for clear skin.
Till this day I don't understand the hate towards this song because this ain't bad at all. The vibe is a little different of most BTS tracks but it is a whole mood and Yoongi's rap verse is one of the most iconic things he has ever done. We stand Pluto in this house. Ha, how you like that? Okay but hear me out, this song is so good and actually one of my favorite Monster X's title track. I don't trust you if you hate this song, that's how much I love this. The first part used to feel kinda boring but it grows on me extremely fast and I bop to this song till this day. I love the music video, especially the last part after the bridge with the water. It looks cool and the dance is super powerful just like all their choreographies. This song was released a couple of years ago and it still remains iconic, I think it was a solid debut. Probably Korean's favorite, everyone had such big expectations for the girls and they excel them with this. The choreo is just stunning, they're great dancers for such a young age and they look great together, the MV, vocals. Everything is pretty simple to me, yet really beautiful. I was really surprised with this one because it's been a long time since I don't hear slash read someone saying they dislike Save Me. Personally I used to be obsessed with it. It was my shower song, my alarm, my song to fall asleep, everything. Nowadays I don't listen to this track a lot and I don't think is the best title track of BTS but I think is a pretty amazing song. The rap verses here are truly iconic together with that complex choreography and it has a sweet spot in my heart. I want to say I was low-key offended when I read this song in the comments, someone said this song seems too long like it never finishes and, I had that exact same feeling during my first listen because the chorus is long, plus it has a rap verse which isn't common for an IU title track, but after the second listen I just feel in love and the song seems short to me at this point. This is one of my favorite songs of the year so I had to give it the first place. If you're not completely sure about this track I'll recommend you give it another try because once it's stuck with you, it never leaves you alone. This is the collab we needed and the best one of the year for me, no doubt.